Good morning guys. So today we are just gonna do a really laid-back vlog I'm just gonna take you through what I do to take care of the chickens every day um, And I figured no better way to start that than with breakfast and every day we have usually about six eggs between my husband and I so I guess I'm just gonna get started making breakfast. I have some stuff out in my kitchen still because we're gonna take them over to the chickens to have as a treat in a little bit. So the reason I'm in the car right now is because we used to have our chickens in the backyard but we actually just moved them to a hobby farm nearby where we're gonna be doing some hobby farming with the chickens and other animals and plants too. So for now, instead of keeping the chickens in the backyard, um, they are at the farm and they are very happy there. That does mean I have to go over twice a day, but uh, if you have your chickens in your backyard, you'd just be doing all the same stuff minus the driving. Are you going to the farm? Get your chickies. Come on, buddy. You can do it. water for them. I'll go right there to keep the door open. Next thing I need to do is refill their food, but I have to open a new bag and I don't have a knife. So, so I'm gonna head to the house, grab something to open the bag, and then we'll feed them. Actually, before we head up, I'm seeing quite a few eggs in their nest boxes, and we have a ton of eggs we need to package, put in cartons, so I'm gonna do a few of those and take them up since I'm on my way up to the house anyway. Honey, got any eggs in there? Do you? Nope, not in there. This one right there, though. This is just... I've been putting the eggs for now. Leave 
that. All right, I can't find a knife. And the dogs are having a good time. <laughs> um, of course, this is the day that the bag is empty and I have to open a new bag. So I'm gonna try my keys and hopefully, hopefully that works. As you can see, they like to fly up to the top and then jump down and I could clip their wings, but instead we're probably gonna do an electric netting system. Um, but in the meantime, I actually just like to let them out to free range anyway. Guys, ready for some more breakfast? Come on, everybody move. Another thing they like to do is kick the straw and hay out of the nest boxes. So fortunately we've got a few big piles of straw here that I'm just gonna put in the nest boxes so that they don't kind of crunch their eggs and get them all nasty and dirty. Okay, so we gave them food, water, we collected the eggs, and I spruced up their nest boxes a little bit. Um, if you guys have been following us for a while, you know that typically we use the deep litter method in the coop. We have moved the coop, but we haven't reassembled it yet. And to be honest, we're actually kind of really liking this whole big stall that they have and this little pen in the back. So I'm not sure that we're gonna reassemble the coop until we get more bigger animals when we need this stall. They're really liking it. So um, probably once a week, I'll go in there and scoop some poop out. I've never done a weekly cleaning method before, um, but it doesn't quite need it yet. Fortunately, they've got a lot of space. What I am gonna do though, is I'm going to crack the gate open so that they can free range here, especially compared to our old backyard. There's definitely a much bigger risk of predators, but um, I would rather have them out in the brush and foraging. Um, and we're just gonna see, we're gonna see how long we can go. We did buy some electric fencing from Premier One that we have to set up. Um, but in the meantime, there's lots of brush, there's lots of cover, they're not stupid. I would rather have them be happy and free ranging, which they've already been doing for a few days, than to be cooped up no pun intended. So, uh, so far when we've let them out during the day, they've come back at night every time. So I'm just gonna crack the gate for them now. Hey girls. Hey girls.
Actually, one thing is I did bring some scraps from home that are in my car. So uh, I am gonna feed those to them kind of at their home base so that they know that the good stuff is always back there. So they're all back there right now. Let's see if they'll come. Here, girls. Here, girls. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> Hey girls, you guys want some? There's some good stuff in here. There's just some stale chips in there, um, some filling from some cantaloupe seeds that I pulled out of a cantaloupe yesterday. So they, they still get scraps and they'll be able to work on this in there. I don't want to feed them all the treats at once, so I just gave them about a third of the bag and um, there were some cantaloupe seeds in there that I'd scooped out from a cantaloupe last night, so they're still going to get some table scraps here and there. So that's about it for my morning routine. I collect eggs, um, I feed them, and I water them, and I let them out. And then tonight I'm going to come back, I'm just going to check up on their food and water, and I'm going to lock them back in so they're nice and safe from predators at night. But for now, I think we're going to let the dogs run a little bit. Rolling in something, something dead probably. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. You guys wanna go see? Good dog. As you can see, there are some girls over there. They have let themselves out again. This is actually one of their favorite spots to be, which I like because it has all this cover, lots of bushes and stuff, and they love to scratch around in the leaves and the gulch here. So one question I know I'm gonna get in the comments is how do you know that the chickens will come back or how do you make them come back? Same thing we got with the automatic door. A lot of people didn't understand that chickens, once they know what their home base is, they will go home automatically kind of as the sun is setting or after the sun sets. There's always a possibility that you'll get a chicken that won't do this, but for the most part, that's just their nature. And we have been letting ours free range like this for a few days now. We only moved them in a few days ago, but um, they've known to come back to this stall at night. So I'm not particularly worried if somebody doesn't come back it's probably because a predator got them but we do go out to check them uh, count them every night and make sure that everybody's in I think the first night there was one straggler who was just having too good of a time scratching away in the woods over there so we put her in but after that they just know to come back by themselves all right bye ladies we'll see you tonight Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. Okay. It is a little bit early. The sun's probably gonna set in about an hour or so, but I'm gonna head over and we're gonna lock the chickens in for the night. Go check on your chickens. Everybody have a good day today? Hi girls. Did everyone have a good day today? Did you have a good day? Amelia has found a fantastic dust bath. Good job. So in order to get them in, I'm just gonna get some treats because that is easier than having the dogs herd them in, which gets a little chaotic at times. Hey girls. <laughs> They're ready to come in for the night. You guys ready to come in? Come on, let's relax here. Come on in. Come on. Hey, girls. Hey, girls. Oh, boy. Those ones are not the brightest in the bunch. Can you guys get that chicken for me? Can you get that one in? Good boy. He's up on her. He's up on her. Good boy. All right, that's enough. Good boy, fly! So we still have a few more minutes till sunset, so I'm gonna let them enjoy the pen for 
about 30 more minutes and then we'll just lock them in that door right there and they'll be nice and safe for the night. The greens. So the sun is officially setting and I guess that wraps up a day in the life caring for chickens. They are no longer backyard chickens, I guess. Now they're farm chickens. We only moved them a few days ago, but they are loving it here. And we frankly are really happy to have them here too. This is just a hobby farm near where we live, where we're gonna be doing a lot of work, especially in the coming months. Really not a lot has changed with our care schedule. The only difference is that I have to drive in between kind of my morning care and my nightly care now. So it's fine with me. It's kind of my zen time while I'm here. And obviously the dogs like coming with us too. If you guys want backyard chicken specific care, you can look at all of our old videos are kind of about that too. So we hopefully have a lot more fun animals coming soon to this hobby farm, especially in the coming months. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can join us again in the future. And if you aren't already following us on Instagram, our Instagram handle is oak underscore abode. And we would love to have you join us there as well. I I think that pretty much wraps it up. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I'll see you next time.